What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today I wanna give you guys a review of the RDX1 mini battery charger. So I got this one specifically to use with LiPo batteries, more specifically with two cell batteries for the chassis I have over here. And the whole reason why I decided to get the mini version of it is because this thing is tiny, guys. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen a micro RC car, but these things basically fit in your palm of your hand. And uh, that's basically the size of this charger. So that's my first thing I want to point out about this mini charger is this thing is tiny, but it packs a punch. I like this charger a lot. So just want to give you guys a bit of a disclaimer before we really start digging into the meat of the video. This is my first LiPo charger I've ever had as far as a smart LiPo charger. I've had like the cheap ones that come with kits and RC airplanes and all that kind of stuff. But this is my first real LiPo charger where I'll be able to balance the cells, decharge the cells, do all the stuff that I need to to basically maintain my batteries and make sure that they stay safe and they don't become dangerous. Sorry about that. I had to go lock my cat up. He was throwing a temper tantrum. But anyways, guys, like I was saying, this is my first real LiPo charger, so I can't really compare it to anything else out on the market. And the fact is, is I'm using this for two cells. I'm not using this for a six or an eight cell. So this isn't for like a 10th scale car, right? This is for micro RC cars, maybe RC planes. I'm not quite sure whatever you guys are getting into, but either way, this is more for the smaller range. But the best part about this thing, like I was saying, guys, is the footprint of this is because what I'm thinking I'm going to be able to do with this bad boy is eventually be able to pack it up into my carry case. So this is my current case that I'm using to keep all my RC cars in, my controller and everything when I go traveling or when I when I basically leave the house anytime. I got this thing from Harbor Freight for, I think it was maybe $40, maybe $50 shipped to my door. So pretty cheap case, but the nice thing is you can keep everything nicely organized in here. And so, see, this is a Mini Z MA020, and this is my slot where I normally put my MA030, but as you can see, this RDX Mini fits in this slot right here perfectly it almost takes up the exact footprint it's really really nice and then the nicest thing is then if pretend i had this all bundled up nicely and it was all compact and everything you could fit your wires and then these are my converters you just basically toss these in here and ba-boom you could have literally your whole little setup in this one little kit and then eventually guys i'm thinking what i want to do is get a larger case they do have one size up from this apache and then basically i could have all four of my cars i could have two mini z's in there i could have two atomic drz's my controller my charger and then just more space for batteries and tools maybe like a you know i have a small thin toolbox i could have somewhere in it because the the larger size it's, it's quite a bit bigger but anyways guys just wanted to give you an idea of the whole reason why i went ahead and chose this thing was because it fits in here it goes with my little micro toolkit and this is going to be my newest best piece in this arsenal i'm really excited for this thing and this thing's pretty cheap uh it cost me about 44 dollars, i believe is what it was listed at so i just figured i'd go ahead and throw that in there just so you guys get a ballpark range for the price of this thing you know not too too bad so let's quickly go over some of the features that this thing has and talk about one thing that actually caused a huge issue for me so first off right off the bat uh, let's just talk about what comes in the kit so when you order this you get an xt60 converter to dean's plug and you get your ac battery charger so the the plug's fine that's pretty normal but this xt60 so this thing threw me off. Initially, I, when I was looking at the marketing material and everything online, I just assumed that these were banana plugs. Uh, I, I'm just real not familiar with chargers, guys, so I just really didn't know what I was getting into. But anyways, like I was saying, this is called an XT60 charger. And so what you would need to do basically is plug this thing in and then get a Dean's converter, or you can do what I did and go ahead and get a banana plug adapter. So I got this banana plug adapter for like $3 online, insanely cheap, and then boom makes it so that I will be able to use the little banana plugs and use any kind of charger or balancing board or whatever I want to use with this thing. I can now make it pretty much universal. So I know for the larger tent scale stuff, uh, these Dean's plugs have become the universal plug. I know they're a really good plug, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, is for micro RC cars, banana plugs are still king. And especially, you know, you got micro JST stuff. So for charging, generally it's gonna be made up with a banana plug. So getting a, a, a little XT60 converter, that's gonna be my first tip for this thing if you guys are gonna go ahead and pick one of these up and then the next thing that you guys might want to think about getting is a balancing board, right? I just did basic research online and I figured that you needed a balancing board in order to use this charger properly and that's not true. So uh, another thing I want to also let you guys know is be careful with the balancing board you got. So I got one with seven pins and I couldn't find any ones that were smaller than this but the thing is is this is too big to fit in my balancing port. So 
what am I gonna do? I can't use this balancing board, but you know, you don't need a balancing board. Really, a balancing board, more than anything, what it does is it basically helps you keep your pins straight, but if your pins are fine, if you're not rewiring anything, you don't have to worry about that. But the biggest thing is, is it lets you plug this into your charger, and then this thing uh, takes all the brunt of the punishment. So when you're plugging in batteries and unplug, unplug, plug, plug, unplug. And so basically this will take all the pressure off of your little port in here so that basically you don't have to buy a new charger all the time because you're just using it too frequently. So what I did is uh, RC Atomic, so that's the people that make this chassis over here, they have this little uh, converter thing for your boards, right? And so what I, my plan was, was to plug this thing into the board and that's the way I was going to charge it. But unfortunately, since that board didn't fit with this, I talked to some people online and they recommended you don't even need a board. Uh, like I said, as long as you're not rewiring your batteries, you know everything's safe with it and everything's kosher, then what you can do is actually take this little bad boy and plug it straight into this port. Just like that, fits in perfectly, and I didn't even need to trim the connectors. So I've done nothing to modify this unit. All I did was buy a converter from the company who makes my RC car, and then a universal little adapter plug. And then what I can do is take these, him in, plug him in, and then my battery just plugs straight into this, and then bam, that's it. Of course, you need to have this plugged into the wall, but that's all I needed to do in order to get my micro charger working with my micro RC car. And this is awesome, guys, because it's just such a compact package. And like I said, I'm going to be able to pack this up eventually and put this into a kit and basically be able to carry it around with my RC car, travel all around with it. And I'm super excited for that. But guys, let's really quick talk about a few of the features for this thing, because that's one of the biggest distinguishing features is the fact that this thing can do pretty much everything. So initially, when I first plugged it in, uh, I was a little nervous. I didn't want to basically blow up my battery so I was just being really nervous with it but basically you have to get into the point where basically it confirms that you want to be charging your battery and then it will ask you all the parameters that you want to set so initially I only saw like you were able to charge it at three amps and really high voltages and all that kind of stuff I was like oh shoot I'm gonna blow up my battery but you can get in there and you can fine-tune all of your amperage all the way up to three amps I believe is the max but what I was charging on was 0.3 and you can go up in increments of 0.1 so you can be charging at 0.3 amps or at 0.5, 1 amp, 3 amps, whatever amps it is. I, you know, I'm not, I'm new into LiPo batteries, so I really don't understand all of it, but I know that I charge this at 0.3 amps. And I was able to select that on my charger, and that was really, really nice. And the other nice thing about this charger is you can flip through these screens when your battery is charging it, and it'll give you some data. It'll basically give you one, the percentage of your battery that has charged. So you'll know it's at 70% charge, 80% charge, whatever, and how much longer you can estimate. And then two, has a running timer. But then it has a bunch of other little features that I don't understand like ohms ratings and all that kind of stuff and I know as I get more advanced I'm going to take advantage of those features but for now I have no clue what those mean so you know I kind of stay away from those pages but it was really nice being able to basically flip through and check how long it's been running and basically be able to see some of the other options that are available for it but I just don't necessarily I'm not able to take advantage of those quite yet but in the future I will. So if you're considering picking up this RDX mini charger, I highly, highly recommend it. As far as like the power outputage and all that kind of stuff, it's perfect for a micro RC car. I charged this battery and it took it about 45 minutes. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I think that's pretty good. I mean, for as tiny of a package as this is to be able to charge my battery from pretty much completely decharged all the way up to full charge in about 45 minutes, that's, that's cooking, I think. So I'm really happy with this charger. I'm really excited to see what I can do with it in the future. And like I said, guys, I'm really excited to be able to pack this away with my control my car, my whole kit, basically put it in one hard case and take it with me wherever I'm going, whatever I'm doing. So I'll bring you guys another video of this thing in the future, maybe in a few months after I've used it for a while, I can bring you guys a re-review or just once I get this thing all situated and I get my rear wheel drive drift cars that use LiPo batteries and all that, once I get that whole packet situated, maybe I'll bring you guys another video, circle back and show you my bundle. Because like I said, guys, I plan on keeping this thing with my cars, taking it with me wherever I go. So I'm really excited for this. I cannot wait to really just dig into it. It's really nice having this charger. Um, I don't know. This was a big part of the mystery for getting into rear wheel drive drifting, dealing with LiPo batteries. In my mind, they're, I've just heard they're a little bit dangerous. They can blow up and stuff like that. So basically having a charger where I can balance it, check everything, know that the battery is safe and I can charge it as best as I can. You know, I, that's just a little bit of peace of mind to me is huge. So anyways, guys, like I said, I'm really excited to just use this more in the future, learn more about my batteries. 
So that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys are enjoying the content I'm producing on the channel, please smash that subscribe button and show your support. I'd really appreciate it. And if you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. Give the video a like. I'd really appreciate that too. And anyways, guys, hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time.